All right, so full disclaimer, uh, don't try this at home. Nobody should ever try this. Don't even watch this video, actually. But if you burned your board and you want to try to fix it yourself, um, <laughs> this is how you start going about doing that. So first we're going to find that we have a burnt MOSFET. You're going to know this already, basically, because you have resistance in your motor. But I'm going to try to do this one-handed. Um, basically, I'm going to put my multimeter on either a positive or a negative. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting it on the negative. That's a burnt MOSFET, failed MOSFET, whatever you want to call it. Got it on one phase of my uh, board there. And I already peeled one of these MOSFETs up just to see if it was a different kind, but nope, so far I haven't seen any boards with different MOSFETs on them. So figure out um, which MOSFETs need to be changed. This is going to be the one in the middle. It's going to be your, I think that's the gate or the, I don't know, either way, it's these two. If these two ring out, that's bad. So this is the, the phase that's not affected. It's not ringing out. Um, that's gonna be on this same phase. This is it's another separate phase. Not ringing out there. Same thing, I'm gonna switch sides because these are upside down. And then we're gonna expect it on this phase. So I blew all four of these phase, uh, one phase, all four MOSFETs the high side and the low side. I'm gonna have to replace all four of those guys then the board should work again. Um, there's my other burnt board. So that's gonna, those are gonna be donor MOSFETs in there. Uh, it's a terrible process that no one should ever, I remember, I'm gonna repeat myself, no one ever do this ever. Um, you have to get those three basically hot enough at the same time to be able to remove the MOSFET. It's pretty terrible because they're not flexible. You can't just heat this one up and then lift it and then heat this one up and then lift it and heat that one up and lift it. Um, I only have a soldering iron. I don't know if maybe there's like hot air guns that people use to solder with uh, that are probably better <laughs> for doing this type of work. That's something I might want to look into because uh, MOSFETs are a lot cheaper than a whole new board. Um, but no one should ever do this anyway, so this is just hypothetical.